So I'm gonna go through this kit one by one with you so you can see what each thing is. Um, first, we have the downpipe. This just mounts straight up onto the V-band of the turbo. There's a clamp for it. And then this side is made to fit your existing um, exhaust system. So you don't have to do any welding. You just put this on and clamp it on just like it came stock with the stock downpipe. So there's that and the manifold adapter. Both have been painted with high heat ceramic special paint. This is the manifold adapter. So this end you have a T3. This side you have the triangular KKK. So it's gonna mount on like that. Here's all your hardware, your screws, bolts, washers. Turbo options, so we have two. First one is the max speeding rods. TO4E or we have a generic TO4E. They both come pre-clocked and ready to install so you don't have to do any work. You just mount them straight on. Comes with a air filter which you have the choice either just to put it on straight like this or you can use this extension if you want to remove your stock filter, air filter housing completely. If you just use it straight on like that, you just need to remove the top of the housing so it fits. And then if you want to use this to get a different angle or you want to cut it a specific way that you like, you can use this. Um, this has a hose, which here is the, this is what comes off the valve cover. This is a vent tube. So this end goes inside of the uh, cylinder valve cover and this end, it just plugs on, it goes on in here to where you have a nice extension or you can just vent to atmosphere if you just want to go this or um, you could even do your own method and have, um, you can drill a hole here and put like a, a barb or a nipple there and you can just have your hose, this hose going straight into there if you wanted to do that option. Here is the intercooler adapter so this would go on right here and then this would go on to the stock intercooler on the w210 comes with your two clamps your hardware next we have all the oil feed fittings so this is the drain and the way that it works is this is your stock oil feed and you're just going to cut off the tip here Sorry, it's hard to video with one. So you're just gonna get your angle grinder and just cut off the tip. And then this is just gonna go right on there. There will be a hose clamp for that as well. And that's how you take care of the oil drain. And then the other end is this. So you can see it's also barbed. So that's the oil drain end. This is the oil feed. So this end goes into the block. And this is a 4AN, so you would then screw it onto that end and it would wrap around. And this end would go into the oil feed, which is this kit. They're both uh, Edmund Racing. And you can see the drain and the feed. And last but not least is the Sean Tracy Stage 2 ECM. So that should cover everything in the kit. It's a direct bolt-on, um, no need to weld or anything like that. There's only one slight modification that you have to do, and I'll show you what that is on the car. So here we are on a W210, an E300 on 606. So this is the top of the air filter housing that I was saying. You just need to remove this and then it will fit. And the only modification that you need to do is right here and right here. There is normally a heat shield, which is this. And you just need to unscrew that. No big deal. And then the only Modification you have to do is this needs to be grinded off, so just get your angle grinder and grind it off. 
flush. This is just where the heat shield mounts up. And you need that so that the compressor outlet can line up with the intercooler. And then I'll show you how the exhaust works. If you see, we have this clamp here on your stock. See, so that's there. And this mounts up right in there to go on with those ears. It's gonna go, sorry once again for trying to video one-handed, but this is gonna clamp on like that so you don't have to weld any exhaust system on. And then the air filter, like I was saying, if you have this off, the air filter just mounts right here just fine, there's no problem. If you wanted to remove this completely, which it just pops out, then um, your air filter has that pipe that you can put over if you wanted to get it away from the engine and you wanted to take advantage of the, the stock air inlet, you can put it somewhere right here. And the hose that I was saying for the uh, ventilation comes out here. You can hook it onto that blue tube and use the... So that is everything. So the idea behind it is there's no welding. There's about 30 seconds of angle grinder and that's the only thing that you have to do. Everything else just bolts right on for 300 horsepower with Sean's stage two tune and stock EDC pump. Thank you very much.